Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Mysterious JG, and wasn't really having uh, all that much success against the Skinner Brothers last time, but, um, oh, whoa, 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 I almost pressed cancel mission, no, retry checkpoint, that's what I want, yeah, that's what I was doing, okay. So, oh, never mind, this was an exact checkpoint. So yeah, I'm doing this about as poorly as you can, but we're still going to get through it thanks to the nature of modern games being really easy. Ow, I guess I was supposed to be shooting at those guys and not that. Oh, I guess they're dead now. Okay, well this is it's continuing to not be that great. Charles Horse died. Go, go, go. There, there, please. Why is my horse going so freaking slow? Oh, I don't have my gun out. Controls are getting weird too, like my horse is not responding the way I'm expecting him to. What the hell is going on with my horse? There's something... What the fuck is going on with the horse? Okay. Yeah, seriously, the horse was not like... The horse was like doing this weird stutter step thing. And he doesn't get lumbago. So stop your whining about being kidnapped by murder weirdos. Murder weirdos. You know, I was in the hospital, they gave me special slippers and lots and lots and lots of signs about not falling. Because falling, when you're injured, is bad. Over here. Almost and I also had some tubes in inserted there, that would have been bad to have me falling over on them, but we won't get into that. I was in better shape than Uncle. He needs something for the back. Come on. Get on your... What the... Come on. Get on your horse, ride forward. Yeah, I didn't even, didn't even take an additional step. Oh my god, it's, the horse didn't even step forward. I just got back on it and we went into a cinematic. The game's like, how dare you dismount before the cinematic begins. Well, they didn't even like cut up his nipples. They were cutting up above his nipples. When did they get into the torture game? And I really think you're dying. It's going to be okay. A few days, you're going to be just fine. Well, it gave him a real spanking. You're a survivor, he's a survivor, something, something, I don't know the lyrics of this song. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. Why? We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners were down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah. Exactly like we used to be. Well, except that we were committing crimes for money, and they're just like torture. torturing people. Uh, we got Uncle singing instead. Of what is torture? Oh, so this is this is like classic bad writing. You think they'll attack again? No, I doubt it. And then no real reason for that. We must have killed most of them. Which means it doesn't matter how many of them you killed during the mission. They're just like, yeah, they're not coming back. Whatever. No real reason. Torture. I guess it's not bad writing as long as it's not video game. Like, uh, here I am going off about video game writing. If it was just like a straight up story, yeah, you could have some weird gang of crazies and the heroes go deal with them and then they say, well, we won't be back because we got most of them. But that's because you're writing a story. In this case, it's like, you know, where, where the, the player's actions don't matter. In this one, it's like they've always been like an anonymous group of weirdos that had as many members as any mission needed them to have. 
But if we rode away and left a bunch of them alive, we probably could have tried to kill 100% of them. It doesn't affect the dialogue. Either way, you're like, yeah, we killed most of them. They're not coming back. We're going to be safe here, John. Hmm? Well, why aren't you going to stay? You, your family, and me. We'll be safe. I hope so. Oh, waiting to find out why Charles isn't hanging around in Red Dead Redemption 1. If she ever comes back. Otherwise, I'll have to make Charles my new wife. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I don't know, folks. I, I just don't know. Ah, oh, manure shoveling. One of our best mini games this game offered us. This would be a good thing for him to be doing when Abigail came back, as opposed to murdering Skinners. You know, as far as getting getting off on the right foot with her when she returns, probably better to find him. Shoveling manure, which specifically is a thing she wants him doing, and not murdering people, which is specifically a thing she doesn't want him doing. Oh, here they go. I've come, I should say. What the hell? Who told them they could return? You. You're. You're back from my new Wookie beard. Hi. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Hey, Poppy. Sure. Time for showdown. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. We'll it's certainly kill the people who killed you. you. It's yours. Well, Ours. Ours, I would think. I should see about that boy. One hug is enough to There's keep you for a few uh, weeks. Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? And he punches her right in the face, and she realizes this was a horrible mistake. Come on! Rufus T. Firefly. We named him after, well, Rufus T. Firefly. We were going to call him Captain Spaulding, but... He's not an African explorer. He is not the first white dog to cover every acre. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Camp chores and Jack Marston missions. Jack could use some company. Abigail needs to speak with you. Really big bastard. Where, where, where was camp chore? Oh, okay. Well, you know, it's important to do missions with our, you know, to reacquaint ourselves with our wife and son, but it's also important to clean the stalls. Go to the barn to muck out the livestock stalls with Jack, work for happy animals, and useful fertilizer. Jack, it's time for us to reconnect with your favorite activity and mine. Shit shoveling. Well, where's the uh, pitchfork? Okay. a challenging mission. We're not really getting any help from Jack here so much, um, despite the description. I would assume we get karma for this, otherwise I don't know why we're doing it. I mean, it's a video game. We don't have to actually do all of the things that you would have to do in real life to run a ranch. When you're playing SimCity and you're being the mayor of SimCity, they don't replicate replicate your commute into the office in the morning and you know, you don't occasionally catch coronavirus personally. 
Although I'm sure future versions of SimCity will have it as a thing that you have to deal with. Return the pitchfork. Now do we actually dump off the... Um, dump off the manure somewhere? Or does it just sit in the barrel forever? I guess it just sits... The cow can now be milked. We're going to have a whole series of these missions now. Damn, that cow really needed to be milked badly. Come back later to milk another bucket. So what did that accomplish? I don't rightly know. I suppose we did finish a mission at long, long last. I had a whole video of... Well, I mean, I... I don't know I'm complaining that bad. Yeah, I obviously had quite a few uh, restart from last checkpoints in that mission, but, um... Yeah. We had an entire action-packed video. If I hadn't sung uh, The Gambler at the beginning of the video, we might have even made it, well, in one video, although probably not. The Best of Women. Oh, that's a... wasn't a mission. It's just the last named cinematic is, uh... indicated. Well... See what other chores we can do. Just before I go talk to anybody, I want to show off what a great little rancher I am doing all sorts of chores. Oh, we can pump water. This will be a fun mini game. Or am I going to water plants? I'm getting uh, Fallout New Vegas or Fallout uh, 4 flashbacks now with uh, the water pump. Honor and character attributes. Deliver water around the ranch. Well, I doubt I can climb this thing while I'm. Um, Which means one of these has to be a gate, yeah. That increased my dead eye for some reason, okay. Oh, I am allowed to cancel the chore because I just, just realized, oh wow, I've really locked myself into going back and forth like ten freaking times here. All the glamour of Goat Simulator. Well, you know, like I said, I, I've been away from the game for a while, which is making it challenging to do all these high-intensity missions. Maybe, um, maybe this is exactly the speed I need right now. Okay, so it looks like these ones are going to be past the barn. And even past the horse. I don't even know if I want to go into the corral here. But I would imagine I do. I, I'm not sure what I would be pouring water into. If I'm not watering um, the rows of, of uh, plants and crops over there, then it must be delivering water to the animals. Not a whole lot else that makes sense. Not that it matters, because I've got... I had tons of money as Arthur Morgan when he died, and it doesn't automatically transfer over to John Marston, but now I feel silly about having spent all that money improving Dutch's camp, although it didn't really change that much, did it? It was fun feeling like a completionist and getting all the camp upgrades. Only thing that's bothering me... He, he refuses to hurry. I, I don't know how... But imagine the full pail of water. I haven't done a lot of ranching in my time. Full pail of water. 
it's probably pretty uh, pretty heavy, and you don't want to be moving around fast with a completely full pail of water. With the empty pail, I don't know how heavy that damn pail is, but it will not let me run. Not in real life. Would I be running around like in, under the hot sun if I had a long day of work ahead of me? Well, probably not. I'd probably take my time performing this chore and take my time performing the next chore. Not like you have cable TV to watch when you get back in to the house at the end of the evening. John Marson, I barely even read, so I think he would, um, you know, they might do a little bit of reading by candlelight. He and Abigail might have some fun together. Probably chat with his family. But at the end of the day, one of the reasons you take your time with your ranching to, is because you don't have a whole lot else to do. <laughs> Run yourself ragged. Dashing around your farm at top speed. Um, see, it, it lets it, it will let you walk a little bit faster. See, you walk. This is regular walking. This is the full dash. So I guess I'm going to do the full dash. And I got to make up for the karma that I lost uh, trying to rob the victims of the Skinners, even though I. Now that I think about it, that probably didn't even take. Hey, horsey. Oh, cutting through the corral is probably still the fastest way, but... Oh, never mind. It's... Ah, damn it. It's, yeah, like, I just got done saying. Of course these things are going to be inside the corral. What would be the point of them otherwise? It's water for, as my niece would say, the an aminals. And I'll just leave the bucket here because... The game is going to spare me one last trip. Even though it doesn't actually make sense to not to leave the bucket there. All right. Well, let's just uh, let's do the full full round of camp chores. Let's just have a whole video of this excitement before we continue the story. It's a weird notion that I would want to showcase. I'm not sure I'm going to do all of the bounty hunter missions, but I definitely want to showcase all of the camp chores. This seems like a similar mission. Although at least I'm allowed to run on my return trips this time. And now the strategically placed feeding points. Why don't I have the hay a little closer? He's out there in the field getting all kinds of hay. Even bad poison hay. All kinds. <laughs> That's from Buffalo Rider, which is actually one of my favorite riff tracks of all time. Buffalo Rider! I guess this is a, an official feeding point here. And that gave me dead eyes somehow. Oh, I guess this one, you don't have to do um, a full round. It's up to you. Well, we'll do a full round. Yeah, he's out there getting all kinds of hay. Even bad poison hay, all kinds. <laughs> yeah, I like that joke. Oh, so that's what our protagonist <laughs> looks like. Buffalo Rider was a film in which um, they did very little in the way of close-ups of the main character. <laughs> okay, this corner is the... I can't put it up in the, the entrance of this zone. This is the official feeding point. The cows don't produce milk when they live in their own shit, so that's why I had to take care of that. Am I not gonna? I mean, I'm getting like, I was getting dead eye boosts and stuff from this. Am I eventually going to get uh, Paragon points for uh, actually taking care of my own farm? No, 
must slam the X button with crazy mad frantic intention. Yeah, I know there's a feeding point right there, but I'm going for the farthest away feeding point of them all. Which seems, crazily enough, to be outside of the corral. What? That's that's nuts. And there's already hay out here. This is where we should be storing our hay to make it easier to put at feeding points, and I guess that's what we're doing. Oh, but I guess I'm I'm picking up hay from the point where the uh, the hay delivery guy dropped it off. Picking up hay while standing on top of it. Move the hay to the feeding point, you mean, game. Update your grammar. Yep. Red Dead Redemption 2, folks. This is the kind of excitement that only Rockstar games can give you. Not just any game is going to give you this level of excitement, you know. I guess I'm not bug I, I can hit the button to place and he will automatically place it back in the corner where it belongs. Yeah, no paragon points for that. Well, like putting water out for your animals is an act of like moral courage. Um putting food out for them is a way to increase your stamina and uh your ability to kill people with accurate gunfire. Oh, is it really far away? Sure, let's check this one out. Might be dangerous. I don't want to accidentally trigger a mission with Abigail or John Marston. Jack Marston. Whoever. It's the far end of the farm here. Chop firewood. Okay, well, this mission I know. So we'll see how much I have to do before it lets me stop. Well, there's a finite number of... Or is that... Is the size of the pile of logs there actually re being reduced as we go? It is. Okay, good. And then our next mission, gather wood before this. There's three left. I think we can handle this, guys. Damn it, John. You gotta get it in one cleave. I refuse to accept responsibility for how that went because there's no indication that I control whether or not that happens. And again, dead eye experience. Oh, I did get some Paragon points. I might have gotten some last time. I just didn't notice. And I think this is it. I'm out of camp chores after this. After this, it's time to take Jack Marson out to get almost killed by a bear. Ooh, this is a house-based chore. Unless it wasn't, and pick up sex. This is Polly's mission. He has to pick up stones. No one except Bobo will have any idea what that's about. Move the sack to the chicken coop. Literally, that's like this is just weird Nintendo power. Like, I think it was Dark Man, or possibly Dark Man Three. If that got a separate video game from Dark Man, but the Dark Man game involved, like, they were trying to play up the fact that I guess you transform into different characters. Like, Dark Man disguises himself as members of the enemy gang, and one of them is named Polly, and Polly would pick up and throw rocks. So they just had, under Polly's, like, special moves in Nintendo Power was listed, pick up stones. 
It was like treated as like his special technique. And I really and truly do believe that we're going to have an entire video of just doing chores now. You can now feed the chickens. All right, well, let me let me move the rest of the feed over here. Cause now you're expanding the available missions. This is really building up my stamina, though, I'll say that. And I'll be, I'll be getting underweight soon if I'm not careful, since as far as, I rem as far as I am aware, John Marson has not eaten anything over the entire duration of the story. <laughs> Arthur occasionally had some food. I don't think I've ever made John Marston eat, and when I wasn't controlling him, I can't say for sure that he was eating, so um, it's entirely possible John Marston has not eaten anything for the last year. I suppose he'd be dead if that were true. Red dead. Sorry about the sound of me slapping the X button to make John walk slightly faster. Yeah, just have my face go straight through all this. That's fun. Thanks, JG. Put down sack, pick up stone. And now I can feed the chickens. If I can find where you start that mission. Okay, feed bag. Feed the chickens. Do we even have chickens? Chickens don't seem to care. We can now bring egg crates to the wagon as our quests continue to infinitely expand. Also, go ahead and leave the uh, chicken. Go ahead and leave that fence open so the chickens can escape. Yeah, we don't have chickens, but we do uh, feed chickens and load egg crates onto a wagon without actually needing to have chickens to do that. And this will unlock the mission, Take Eggs to Town. This video is actually going to go long with me doing nothing but chores. Load up. Well, considering this wagon doesn't seem to be one that will actually move as a... You know, it's not actually a wagon that will we can connect to a horse and operate. It's just a fixture in the landscape, I would assume we're not actually going to be taking these into town. This sure is fun. They mean to pull out the journal. I don't want to be reading the journal while wearing your field gloves. What I was hoping to see is my, uh. Yeah, my, uh. About this big meter. Okay, never mind, horsey. I didn't actually mean to call you, my bad. Alright, well, now that we've done all that exciting stuff, let's, um. Save the game. When we come back next time, I think we. I think. Jack needs our uh, attention, immediate attention, more than Abigail does. Um, and I say that as an experienced father and husband. <clears throat> Not a father or husband. But um, let's put it this way. Um, if, if one of them or the other will feel slighted that we um, didn't get to them first, Abigail seems more likely to... Um, 
to be a meatball to uh, uh, really yawning into the microphone. No, to be, she, she seems more likely to get over it if we have to explain to her that, hey, I, I needed to go talk to Jack and make sure he was okay than telling Jack, well, your mom just needed my love. Because that's exactly what we're going to do. Our next mission with Abigail is clearly fucking her. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm being really silly right now. And grind the groats, which makes it a good time to call it a video. When we come back next time, folks, I'll try to be less gross, possibly less silly. Probably I won't accomplish either. See you.